I just received a knock at my door from the postman and a package. This is not from Eagle Moss, but I think I know what it is. It's a game system that I've wanted for a long time and has arrived here a bit quicker than I thought. Let's crack it open. This is, what I, it is a Nintendo top loader system. Excellent. It's supposed to work. I'm going to go plug it up here in a minute and find out. The original Nintendo Entertainment Center is the one that you push the cartridge in and down. And because of that design, they are flogged. And over time, they don't work so good. It becomes a real fight to get them to accept the game and to play the game. You have to clean, you have to blow, you have to do all kinds of stuff. And even even then, it's, it's difficult. I've had a Nintendo since I was 14 which is well over 20 years and it gives, gives me so much trouble that I'm pretty well done with trying so these were a newer model they were I believe made to kind of fix the design flaw they didn't they didn't make a whole lot of them they're more desirable and a little pricey to find they do not have the lockout chip so if you ever put a game in you get the flashing that's because there's a chip in there, in the older ones, that verifies it's an actual Nintendo approved game. And if it doesn't verify that, or at least get knocked out by one of the aftermarket games that can override the chip, it won't play. This supposedly doesn't have that limitation. They took that out. Plus, it's region free. So, in theory, I could get a Nintendo game from Japan and it playing this where it would not play in the other but I have a spot for it I'm gonna go hook it up and see it work now I have the front loader NES here that I've had for well since I was 14 with the switch box on top of it and I'm basically just gonna swap it out for the top loader so let's move this to the side and it's just a matter of Pulling the two cables loose and plugging them into here. Everything's already hooked up. Now I will say the one disadvantage to this front loader system, unlike the front loader NES, which has the yellow and red coming out of the side, you do not have that option with the top loader. There are no There are no red and yellow video out. It's just that one connection. Which is okay. I can manage. I have seen kits where you can modify and add those in. I'm not doing that. I don't have a steady enough hand, nor do I have the confidence to try and do that kind of sorting and run the risk of ruining this. So I'm happy with this setup. Buried down there on the bottom, I have a VCR that this runs to, and it runs from there to the TV. I have the Nintendo hooked up through the VCR. I have an HD TV, and unfortunately, the model that I have it doesn't have a way to select the analog channel for the Nintendo or an Atari or a Sega. The only way I can get them to work on regular channels through the cable input is to scan for it while that unit is powered up and, uh, and plugged in. And doing that I would lose all my other channels and if I wanted to switch to a different system I'd have to scan again with the other system on and it's cumbersome. So I have it hooked up through the VCR and the VCR is hooked to the TV through one of the in video inputs and that works well enough. Let's do a little test here. The big complaint with the other system is that I'm constantly having problems getting games to work. So, let's try Dr. Mario. Instant on. I love it. No blinking, no distortions, no fiddling about. So 
I love it. First time it works. So let's try Bomberman. So I tried up. I love it. No filling about. Just push in the cartridge and turn it on. Let's try Goonies. Starts right up. <sighs> no problems. No glitches. No problems starting. No flashing. No half working screens. Just a working game. No, oh, forgot to jump. If you ever wondered if you should invest in one of these, then I would say yes. Now, this has worked a lot better. I've had very little problem. I'm not going to say I haven't had any problem. I would like to say that most of the games that I have are kept clean. I have gone through it one time or another and cleaned all of them. When I get a new game now, I do make sure I clean it before I play it. Because if you stick a dirty one in to the system, you stand a chance of getting dirt in the system, which will then make cause other problems. I also keep most of my games in a sleeve. I do need to buy a couple more. My collection is growing and I'm out of sleeves. I did run into a couple of problems. There was one game that hadn't been played in a long time and it didn't work right off the bat, but with a little cleaning, just fine. I have another game that I picked up used not too long ago and I have cleaned it and got it to work once on the front loader but I tried again with the top loader and you have to kind of hold it just right to kind of pull forward on it so I don't know there may be some of the problem I think maybe the thing inside might be loose I'm not sure but that one's problematic but for the most part most of my games pop them in they come on the first time which is a huge improvement over the old NES, which I have tried to clean. I have replaced the pin connector, which only does so much good. And you still have the flashing lights, you still have the glitches, you still have the blank screen that even though it's not blinking, it's not doing anything. So any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.